we finished off in playing off in the grand final and we uh, we had that that narrow loss which was pretty disappointing and a lot of the guys were obviously very upset about it um, but uh, we had a, a really good pre-season and we sat down early early January and, and as a group just said okay you know, a lot of teams you don't expect to make grand finals the next year really drop off so we just made a point okay you know we're not going to do that we're really going to give it a good go this year to Lockyer, he traps it inside, handballs back, here's a chance for O'Bree from the pocket, first score of the night is a goal to the Magpies. In goes Johnson, Davis, Malloy in trouble, Davis somehow came up with it, McGough goes off his step, but I think he may have hooked the goal, that is something out of nothing. Good lead from Didac, he's going to go longer though. Over the back, looking for Tuck and Lockyer has to stop and prop. This time, Dynak into the open goal. Can he get one finally? Yes, he had two goes at it, but he got it. Lakeland around the outer side with precision. Shaw is away. One bounce, a second bounce. Runs forward at the wing. McKee gets on the end of it, plays on immediately. Open goal beckons. Davis keeps it low and kicks it. Goff goes to ground. Well done, Malloy. Didn't move. Consult about six dummies. Johnson back to Malloy. 55 metres out. Lines up. How will it bounce? Will it run on? Yes! Johnson. That ball will always drop. You've got to get there. Buckley, 60 metres out. Overcommitted was Barden. Buckley plays on. Bends it back. Throw in. Malloy's kicked one. Malloy from the pocket has kicked two by the sound of the crowd. Molly likes it as well in game 150. And the all-important goal umpire says, that's a goal! Oof. If I'm saying it's not a free kick to Collingwood, <laughs> back me. Here's Buckley off to O'Bree. Cheesy O'Bree from 48 metres out kicks. Another goal for the Magpies. He kicks his second and the Pies lead by 24. Ooh, leading hard now, Tarrant. He's making space behind 20th him. 20th disposal for big Steve McKee. Rocker! Yeah. There'll be an imprint on uh, Coughlin's back that will come up in about round 14, I reckon. I think he's got a tattooed on his back now. Stafford had it fall behind. Coughlin hasn't stopped trying. Davis knocks it. Goldwood. Now a chance for Buckley once more to Davis. 20 metres out. Oh, put the gloss on it. His second. Chips it towards half back and Walker plays on immediately. Logan's away. The Walken through the midfield. A couple of bounces. Gee, he can go quickly to Woe Woden. He's all poised. Slips as he kicks. Vacant square. It carries the line in any case. His first. There's the runner up forward. It's O'Bree who's been busy. Off to Loney. Good shepherd from O'Bree. Gives Loney about 10 metres to run. Now he kicks inside 50. Up towards Tarrant, who shepherded beautifully. Open goal for Dynek. If he can gather, he handballs over the top to Williams. Grab without the ball, was he? Doesn't matter. He kicks well the goal. Done. Well done. And Collingwood have had a lot of the footy in this first part without really hurting him on the scoreboard. McKee, Malloy, Buckley gets away. This will hurt on the scoreboard. Yes. Cut that. Can go long. Tarrant from 55. Gives it a ride. They'll compete about five metres out. McKernan knocked it down. Here, hacked out of midair. What a wonderful goal. Here's a chance now for the Blues as they go forward to half forward. Nice mark. McKernan can run in the open goal. Oh, beautiful tackle line, Loney. Free kick coming. Out towards centre half forward. Out comes Rocker. Takes the mark. 55 out. Has got Tarrant on. He goes short looking for Chris Tarrant from behind. Couldn't quite hold the mark. Fall of the ball, Lappin, good play. Got it out to Camparelli, ran well, into trouble. Leon Davis, goal number three, as easy as you like. <laughs> and, and is on, and it's on. Well, slips it away, Lockyer, 75 metres out, spears a pass. And Terrence taking the mark, 40 metres out. Storming goal, what is Williams? Can he get the ball to him? It's taking a while. Williams juggles the mark, plays on, kicks a goal. It got there eventually. His second. Inside, three minutes left in the quarter. It's Carlton by a point. McKay brings it out to the southern stand side. Rocker from behind, takes a screamer. Well, he's got his range. Decides to go long to the square. 
Kicks it to the hot spot, but McKay's got this wrapped up. No, he hasn't! Williams comes from nowhere and takes a beauty! On the wing was the one. He got away with it. The kick comes in towards midfield. Rocker stepped between two blues and juggled the mark. And Rocker's got two players on in the square. One of them is Malloy, who ran straight down. He's got it into the open goal. Big goal coming up to Malloy, his second in a matter of a minute. And as Buckley gets the ball out of the centre for the Magpies, up towards the forward 50. Out comes Tarrant, traps it beautifully, swings onto the left boot, gives it off to Alan Didak. Left foot shot at the goal. Puts it through. First for the night to Alan Didak. Seven and a half minutes remaining in this one on Friday Night Football. So much to play for. Malloy cleverly. Didak snaps. Wonderful Jared Malloy. Didak gets his second. And just inside 50. Kick is on its way. Kick oh. is on its way. And Chris Tarrant celebrates a night out at the MCG with his third goal. Pies are home. Support provided by Burns on the ground. Kick around the body. Tarrant couldn't quite control it. Woe Woden can. Loose player is cloak. He goes goal instead. Didak Shepherds. Goal to Collingwood. Tries a torpedo towards the goal square. Dangerous fist back inside. Good tackle. And look by Woe Woden. Took an age to get rid of it. But eventually the Cats get out of trouble. Comes to Graham. Goal. Hasn't many options now. Chance for Davis deep in the pocket. He snaps and goes. Collingwood get one back. Richard Collingwood need to do something. The key. Loken has got some toe. Takes on Riccardi. Almost lost the football, but he's away. Thumping left foot kick. Rocker one out. Rocker! Oh. What a mark. Oh, I've been out too long. Good run provided by Loken. Oh, Tarrant. In fact, it's Williams. He can take a big mark. He certainly Tarrant. can. O'Bree, Tarrant in front, strong hands by Tarrant. Here. And that one was a doozy, and the kick across goal. Land in the square, Rocker off the ground. Free boards, yes sir, kicks a goal. That was not touched. And the Pies have another. Burns threw it out in the end, my Woden. Across the face of goal, Rocker. Players will jump, Rocker's got it. He went straight up and was there early. And a real chance for Collingwood to take the lead. And he kicks a goal. Collingwood had that lead. He's, he's really tried to push it in the front. Burns out in front, bump ball. Tarrant did beautifully, took the sting off. Steady, balanced and kicked the goal. He has been the best forward. out of the congestion, cloak almost, taken by Burns, he's made a difference since coming onto the ground, handball just missed the mark, chance for Freeborn, kicks to the top of the goal square, Rocker was held, no free kick, knocks it down towards Williams, oh that was brilliant, Williams kicks a goal for Collingwood, what a touch from Anthony Rocker. So they're into the middle of the ground, out wide is Didak, half forward, Didak at goal, Didak will shoot, and Didak will kick a goal. As easy as that. Wheels around, searching for some options. Williams just dropped, pumps it inside, attacking 50. Oh, Rocker! What strength! There was such a big pack. Half four, Johnson. Bit of a shimmy to get around. Good kick. I probably didn't go in the end. Backing back, it comes to O'Brien now. Hands off in the end, Leon Davis. Unguarded goal square, cheeky as ever for a goal. That is a fantastic kick. And I'm not sure what's happened to the uh, banner there, Eddie. Really. Good evening to everyone. That is a very sad and sorry looking banner. I'll tell you what happened. The AFL threatened Collingwood with a $20,000 fine today. Censorship at its worst. You have the been AFL. censored, there's no doubt about that. This is what the banner would have said had it been allowed to go through the very words that you penned yourself. And uh, this was apparently offensive to... The lead-up was, was pretty big. I mean, I'm, I can remember reading the all the media <laughs> as uh, the grand final rematch. Um, but, uh, you know, we really look forward to it, going over there as, as a team. I think we travel really well. Um, 
and I can remember I think we, we got off to a pretty good start I think I think half time it was a pretty close game um, I think in the third quarter they might have kicked a few goals to get ahead and then we just we, we couldn't catch them in the last quarter but I think the whole way it, w it was a pretty close game didn't get the freeway game which I think was the most impressive thing Walker runs around pulls it back across the body and slots it how's that for a start but his kick is to no one. White gets across. Darrell White spilled the mark, but he picked it up beautifully. Now it spills out to Rocker. Rocker from a long way out goes bang straight down the throat of Chris Tarrant, who can go over the top to Didak, who's loose in the square. He does just that. Whoa! He almost went the wrong way. <laughs> Got the Melway and kicked the goal. Pies by four. Now Ashcroft has another go. Buckley with his fifth possession. Back to Malloy. Trying to tunnel board. He went under the legs. But a nut making going on out there. Logan up to Rocker. Gets to the front. Punched away by Mel Michael. Magpies everywhere. O'Bree over the top. He's reshored. Looks for Tarrant in the pocket. Marks it. Got the reverse swing. Away we go again. McDonald up early. McKee did well. Got it down to Freeborn. Kicks inside the 50. Fraser in front. Good hand pass. Rocker. 40 metres out, brings it back. Wonderful goal. His second. Quick reply. Plays on wide of the mark. Goes down towards half forward. Open forward line. Michael simply gave up. Tarrant's taken the mark. 50 metres out. Nobody's back. Rocker goes back on the angle. Good idea. Long kick. Lippich has got no idea. Rocker's taken the mark. He hypnotised Lepich. The race is on now. Mel Michael versus Anthony Rocker. Mel Michael just taps Ooh. it out in front of him. Coming through was Johnson. Couldn't quite get it. In goes O'Bree. Flicks it out. Johnson. Handball to Malloy. Malloy to Buckley. Can measure the kick and put Collingwood back in front. And the skipper has done just that. Kicks his first. And the Pies go in front by two. McKee taps it down. O'Bree gets the kick out. High inside the 50. Scott will fly from behind. Yeah. Rocker. Wonderful grab. Every lion there was trying to punch it away, and the big man went back into the pack again. Performance, mm. isn't it? And yep. ran with Scott Gotti Burns a lot of the night, too, who's been in great form, Eddie, and it's kept him uh, pretty quiet. The key to Davis. Plays on, kicks inside the 50, intended for Tarrant. Good grab. He can go. Tarrant wheels around. That was lax by Johnson. Tarrant kicks and kicks Trawley. His second. Having paused to ponder the sacrifice of the past, our attention turns to the present. And a clash that's evolved into one of the biggest on the calendar. This is the game of the year, regardless of where Collingwood are or where Essendon are on the ladder. On a day where the nation stops to remember, we find a common thread in football as two clubs build on a unique Anzac Day tradition. At the MCG, Collingwood meets Essendon. Neither Ruckman touched the ball. McGough's got it. Somehow found some space. Malloy nicely worked. Lecuria all the time in the world. Kicks a goal. Buckley in space on the wing. Goes long. Finds Rocker. Too far out to score, which means he's 80 away. The crowd wanting to load up. Terrence in the square. Flies. Can't mark. Back of the pack. Lucas sprawled in his wake, pulls it back to the middle, Cloak in from the side, Peveril did well, knocks it outside the 50, Buckley loads up right on the 50, bends it back, the goal of the afternoon off a step. Advantage is paid, McKee's away, interesting, the second bounce not too convincing, Loney who can kick it a long way, finds himself 55 metres out, nobody back, over the goal and Pyers hat for a goal. The Magpies are back in business. Fraser, ball comes up to Bolton. Well played, bomber defence to Welsh. Under siege, oh. handballs wide. Rioli might save them. Can he pick it up? Peveril there. He was caught. It's still alive. Ball comes up to Fraser. Looks for a handball target. Rocker kicks around the body. Can he nail it? Yes, he can. Jacobs goes down, Buckley spin, oh wonderful, wonderful stuff, Malloy back to Buckley, now Tarrant, 
draws a man clinically, but short. The hand pass not as good as it should have been. Williams back to Tarrant, unloads. Fraser in best position, dropped the mark, burned it, gets a goal. Just about gone there, had runners to mop up, Mercuria to Rocker. He's within range, but it's a testing angle. He opens it up from 50. Oh, that is a magnificent kick. Beautifully played by Rocker. Collingwood still there, trading by OG. Kirk. Well, it's a risky kick, doesn't come off the wall from the middle. Collingwood get it back, here's Buckley. Never stops trying from 65 out. He has a dip for Collingwood. McGough getting into the game since the latter part of the third quarter. Fell off the chest of Holland. Rocker, Buckley now from 55. The goal unguarded. Oh, that's a wonderful kick. If they could do it. Malloy climbing in, slapping at Collingwood's way. Buckley nearly took it. Woe Woden does from 60. Forward line open. Locken. Collingwood showing some good signs here, fighting this one out. McGough again. Now Burns from 45. Tarrant is going again. And suddenly he's taken control and he's turning this match. To cut the margin to just 16 points. Well, that was a pretty big game for us. We lost three in a row. By this stage, uh, a few of the players... Uh, we we're all were under a fair bit of pressure to play good footy and I uh, remember going over there as a team and we were pretty confident, you know, we, we knew we played really well there at Adelaide. Long ball to the wing and a good one to Tarrant. Now O'Bree and loose for Collingwood and capable of wreaking havoc as Woe Woden. Do a one-on-one, -on -one. Rocker, open goal. Collingwood have their second. O'Bree keeping it in and getting his own ball. Well done. Way widen again. Collingwood a chance. Tarrant, not quite. Rocker now. Well done. Dynak the open goal. The back pass within three points. Now Mercuria to McKee. To the full forward area. There's a chance. Carl and Dynak. He'll get a goal. McKee still in there jostling for it. Still a chance. Cole. An open goal here in front of Williams. And the Matt ties it within nine. Snap by Burns into the goal square. While Woden wrestles with Matna. While Woden over the head. Here's a chance. It's Lecuria, is it? It's a mark. Yep. It's gone the 15. Tarrant falling back like the leading Tarrant Pisa and Rocker arriving like a Sherman tank. He's got Tarrant on him, you can see him. Now he does, and Loney finally hits Tarrant on the chest. This is such an important kick, he's got to kick it for the corner. Tarrant's kick too, he's given it every chance. That is a superb goal from Chris Tarrant. But the Magpies, as I said, don't know what defeat is tonight. They just could have been blown away two or three times. Tarrant nearly. Oh, that's in the back, surely. Not paid. Here's Loney again on the run for third, and he kicks it. And the back pass have it in five points. Rose up. Wawoden to Burns. Beautiful pick up by Holland to Wawoden. Tolling it back inside 50. A goal here to put him in front. Rocker wrestles. Hart. Rocker did well to O'Bree. O'Bree puts Tolling in front. into the forward 50 or Collingwood brilliantly done Burns to give Lecuria the chance back to Burns for another one good kick out in front of Dyna will get there first clean pick up oh the kick favours Rocker Rocker can he run under it he's tapping it forward Rocker off the ground it's a goal Diving on it, Laddams, Collingwood just trying to conjure it away, and they do. Buckley, long ball, Tarrant! 
the last quarter, Chris Town kicked that kicked that goal. It was about about 35 metres out. I think on a bit of an angle, and I can remember waiting and, and, and watching and just just praying to God that he'd kick it and uh, and he'd come through. We have to say Collingwood can't lose it now, can they? He can miss everything. will run around, he's 40 from goal, and he will kick his second. McIntosh has come a long way, running forward, oh, bad bounce, Rocker. Use the body, Leon Davis, unguarded goal square, Leon, it'll bounce, open goal for Burns. Curry will have their third, Burns right on the stroke of quarter time, that's what they were looking for, it's back to 29, and Burns with his first goal. Good back into play, Malloy trying to keep Carroll up the ball, Brody Holland, bad bounce, lots of fortune, it's a goal. It is a goal, don't you worry about that. Brody Holland and the Pies have one. Hoping Malloy in hard. Rocker, Carroll's taken high, no free kick with Courier on his non-dominant side. Tarrant from the back! Spectacular mark by Chris Tarrant. Certainly looking for him, Rocker oh. just takes it off. He'll go for, to Malloy for a high tackle. Loose player inside attacking 50. Has it got the carry? It has. Buckley from 15. Kicks it. Red Pies back. Go at each other to protect him. Birds didn't have it. And it is a free. It's coming back. No advantage for Leon. To the square again. The Curia should kick it and dance. And they are back to six. Eagles started this match in sensational fashion. They had five goals on the board within eight minutes. Tarrant, what a spectacular mark by Chris Tarrant. That is not easy to do. Holding it as a drop punt. Rocket to wind up. It's up. It's up. It's up. And it's home. They have the lead. Fraser Day's really stepped up. Tackle on Gardner. Gives it straight up to Courier. And a free kick. No, it's been caught and play on That was controversial. Burns now running free inside, attacking 50. A thumping kick! It's home! Looking for Tarrant. Couldn't take it. Oh. Handball smothered. Now Burns gets attacked by three Saints. Rocker. Now Buckley, from a standing start, around the body, fantastic goal! You see Xavier Clark way back in the distance there. Voss over the top. But Shaheen the crumbs is Davis. Leon Davis, no one home. Kicks across the face. Capuano will keep it in, in fact Clark will pick it up. Handball is a little bit dodgy. No free kick, Malloy should go here. Xavier Clark and the defensive errors in uh, the St Kilda half of the column of Mountain Fraser has made a good start to the Curia to Buckley. Can he do it from 60? Could he what? Magpies on fire in the first quarter. And no doubt the plan is to take young Goddard again away from the action. Even though he's uh, a first year player, he's one of the very best for the Saints. So get him out of the thick of the action. Williams, another smother. Gee, we've seen a few tonight. Another smother. Smothers galore. Quick handball out. Here's a chance for Williams. The banana is good. He's got ball on short. 
He's going for Maguire in the end, and that's a poor kick. As well, Woden intercepts. So, a bit of a breakdown up forward at the moment for St Kilda. Well, Woden looks, looks for Clement. And he marks on defensive 50. Chip around the corner. Peckett's got to beat two of them. Loney and Burns. And Collingwood wins out. Burns to half forward. Tarrant again. That's number 11 mark. Nine of them uncontested. Into space. Davis one out with Jones. Neon Leon. Can he kick a goal? Brilliant. Collingwood load up once more, and here he comes again. That's a dozen. He was 73 for the season through eight rounds. He's uh, romping clear on the marking table. Oh, oh a rocker! Sensational. And what's more important, well within his range. Rewald over the top. Harvey. Again, Buckley at the bottom of the pack did it beautifully. Williams to rocker. Back into the middle, Cole. He spots up Burns very well. Burns will play on here from 52 metres. Right foot kick is another one for Collingwood. Well, it's got to be two, Clement. And Cole, he kicks it into the forward pocket, but it's all Magpies, and one of them is Johnson. He goes back into the middle and finds Loney. Loney to Cole. Colder half forward. Cloak couldn't take the sliding mark. There's Lecuria in his 100. To Shaw. Shows some acceleration. Now into the pocket. Penny against Tarrant. In there is Holland. Handball comes out. Running into it. Lecuria. Goal. Bouncing ball to Harvey this time. Just pulling it off the instep there. Not quite hitting his target. They've got the numbers, but Didak make a pretty good fist of it. Penny sweeping it to Jones. Late to get his hand pass. Reese Shaw in Bobby Rose's number. Drills it. The icing on the cake. It's a great call, Tim, and wasn't it fantastic to see the pressure applied and bring his smile to the face of Bob Millen, who's kicked the one. Now Powell, another one who's spent most of the night on the bench. And Cole comes away with it. Here they go. Terrence running into space. Lockin didn't see him. Just didn't show much vision. Didn't need to. On the siren, he kicks Collingwood's 22nd. And the Magpies romp to a 65-point win. Yeah, the cheer squad are apparently singing the song in the Rundle Mall tonight. <laughs> Just to let everybody know, the shoppers. Here's a chance for Leon Davis. If he can pounce on the ball, he does. He kicks and kicks a goal. First goal to the Magpies. It's inside the 50. Will it get to Wanganine? No. Rocket on the angle. Came across, took the mark, plays on. Towards half-back, needs to be precise. Cockatoo Collins missed his chance. Waiting behind Clement, goes to the wing. Now a running opportunity for Burns. He makes 15 metres, goes inside the 50. Two on one back there. The one did a bit of pushing. Davis back onto the loose ball. Open goal, gets his second. 50 by James, coming up the middle. Full chest at his club, takes them on too. Ooh. Comes back to him. Now he's got a problem. Knocked it forward, taken by Williams under pressure, sweeping hand pass, going down Holland, didn't need to really, Shaw got him out of the jam, Johnson, Burns will be in trouble, Brogan got him, but he got the hand pass away, Williams, goal scoring opportunity, Lecuria runs inside the 50, what a wonderful team goal, the length of the ground. Position to try and draw the foul rather than win the ball purely on his own merits. Sharon Malloy bursts through, handballs off to Burns, he juggles the ball and kicks the goal. Badly needed for the Pies, and they get it through Scott Burns. He got it with the wrong leg initially. Uh, laid yeah. off for a spell, broken on, up towards the wing position. Beautiful play by Jared Malloy, he takes the mark, starting to get amongst it now, Jared Malloy. Seventh possession, goes short out wide to O'Brien. O'Brien played on. 
Now draws the handball over the top to Burns. Close to the boundary line. Burns decides to kick it long and hope for the best. Up towards Terran, who got to the front. Here's a chance for Didak. He kicks the goal off the ground. His first for the night. Eight points of difference. About 15 metres out from goal. It's headed in that direction. Terran, the meat and the sandwich oh. takes the mark. You had to punch. Forget the big ride, you could sit up there maybe longer for a mark of the year, but that mark amongst three opponents is worth its weight in gold. Oh, he's made it tough for Heffner on the wing. Well played by Shaw, he had the man in support. Shaw from Cloak, good looking kick. Oh, I agree, could have done better perhaps. Cole does really well. Kicks the Magpies first. Fair call. Bounce, Neats, somehow the courier will kick around the body. Williams did very well, just notices the pain underneath the football. He's away. Now Tarrant's dropping back here. He's got the set, Tarrant. He's up. Can't take the mark at the fall. Davis, electric. He's got loose players, Leon Davis. He doesn't need them. He's kicked the number one for Collingwood. As he takes the free hand pass, Rocker striding away. Had to tread some water, waiting for there was something to go to ahead. Shaw out very wide. Williams is pretty strong in the air. Couldn't take that one. His opposite name, sake for the Demons. Left it behind. Williams to Burns. Generating a lot for the Magpie. Scotty Burns caps it off with a wonderful kick. And Collingwood's four. Kick off the boot, almost landed with Green. I agree, did very well there. Affected the spoil. And takes the, the takeaway. Holland now Shaw on the wing. Long to half for Tarrant with the set. He's got it. Great kick. Penetrating kick. Now Tarrant's got a loose play in the goal square. Almost. Burns is marked. Oh, I said the goal square. It's in the pocket, but he's only 20 metres from goal, Scott Burns. Steve, I want to ask you about the tactics that Clint Bizzle's employing. He's playing Tarrant from 10 metres in front to stop him leading up. But they're kicking over the back now of the Now to Didak who kicks a goal and he's kicked it. Unusual move for a goal to Collingwood. Holland shovels it towards Williams who just handballs into space while Woden's there. Now Lecuria. Lecuria kicked towards Tarrant. Davis in the contest. Bizzle a half spoil. Burns. Oh, he's got a loose play of Fraser. Fraser runs to 20. Should kick a goal. Restarting and the clearance going the Magpies way. Look at Reese Shaw cover the territory. Looking on a long lead. He gave a little shove, a gentle shove. Wheeling, working hard. Ward died out. He never clear. He relishes the space and he relishes kicking long goals. Tarrant will help him. Thompson is just on the ground for the Demons, surrounded by Magpies. Shaw's been winning his fair share across half-back, brings Scotland into the game. Oh! Williams, not paid. Hurry kick forward is pretty good from the Curia. Chance for Burns, centering kick, they're lining up the Magpies. Good spoil from White, needed to do oh! something terrible. Handball, Nicholson, hurry snap a goal. But to who you give the goal to, Williams, probably, it's a goal. Inside 50 here, Neats thrust into the role as a ruckman against Preston Giacomo. Cloak, as he so often does, the third man up, coming through Ward. Loney though, able to stride out of the fence, look at him cover the ground, terrific build-up. Ryan Loney, space in front of him, goals in front of him, finish it! That's the closure! Ryan Loney, one of the runs of the year! He's the courier again. Insatiable appetite for the footy. Seaman, who's done the job on Robertson today. Bombs away for full forward. There's Alistair, Ni Alistair Nicholson. Oh, Comes off to Burns. Used his right foot. And managed to run through for a goal. Oh, celebrations for Scotty Burns. He's played a slashing game. 21 possessions and four goals won for Scotty Burns. A more direct path to the goals. Through the middle, Holland. Ryan Lane.
Only the crowd start to get to the edge of their seats. They like the exciting players. Speak of excitement. Davis in towards Rocker. Not quite. Wasn't quite. It was designed, I think, for Burns, who in the end got it. Was able to get it out to Tarrant, who's looking for number three to kick off another memorable afternoon. Chris Tarrant delivers. And the Magpies take it back beyond 50 again. Yes. Not staying for the end. White and Fraser White. Gets it down. Fraser battles on a ground level. Somehow got a kick out of the congestion. Malloy in front marks. No, he's been called to play on. Didn't hold on to it. Roy Woden follows it up. Good handball to Lionel. Oh, we know what he can do from this distance. He runs to 45 and nails it. He's an exciting player, Ryan Lamy. Kicked one of the goals of the year in the second quarter. 19 13, 127. Lead it by 51 against the Demons, who are 10 16 76. Short from halfback. Got it from O'Brien. Didac really coming to it. Handball inside. Lecuri, a little chip kick is okay. Holland back to Didac. He's got to double back a bit here, but he runs to 50. Long left foot kick is a goal. Helen Didac. I remember sitting down after after the Melbourne game and I thought the guys were really professional about it. I mean, we we, we forgot about the win with Melbourne the next day and straight away started focusing on, on Hawthorne because we had a shorter week because we played Melbourne on the, on the Monday, obviously. Um, and it was quite disappointing because they really did run over the top of us and, and again, I thought that we, uh, you know, we just, the, the boys seemed a little bit flat and, and weren't really ready on a day. Oh, I'm not sure about the journey here. 52 metres out, kicking into a bit of a win, as Michael Roberts mentioned, right to the line. No! Collingwood get there first. Probably could have marked, but had the defensive idea in mind. As O'Bree with a clearing kick, Fraser one on one. Everett did well. See that? Spider didn't try to knock it out. Kept it in play. The Chaney gave him a chance. We're about to tick into time off. Third quarter. Rocker. A deft deflection from the ruck to Tarrant. Now O'Bree into trouble. Out of trouble. Oh. Goes with a long kick. This might be. Starting the last quarter, lead it by 28. And that's the sort of action Collingwood need out of the middle. Burns, the run of McGough. I'm going to ask Gary about the setup to win this game for Collingwood in a moment. Will it include that man, Deep Tarrant? Rocker, will it include that man? McGough from 50, lets one rip. Didak in good position. To the angle. Drop part, not bad off the boot, coming back. Josh Fraser, as a consolation, has three. Well, the first time we went up was last year, and that was when it really, really made you think about things. I mean, I, I wish the first time that I went there, I knew what it was going to be like, so I would have brought over a lot of you know, clothes and shoes that we, that we don't use anymore because um, you know we, we, we were lucky enough to get flown out to different communities and uh, just to, just what the way we saw <laughs> these guys living was that uh, was, was a bit of a shock but again they were, they were happy you know, you know that's the funny thing about it the way that we see them live but they were really happy with the way things were there and they just seemed to be relaxed and, and really enjoy themselves and the spirit amongst these people is just amazing. I mean, we we normally complain about little issues that we've got here in Melbourne, whereas they've obviously got a lot more to worry about. But, but they don't seem as if they are worried, and it was a bit of a shock to the system. But um, it really was a good experience to see the way the Aboriginals live up there. The guys sort of got together and had a chat about our first half of the season and just reassessed our goals and reassessed the way we were going really because we were playing just quite frustrating football. You know, we really couldn't couldn't work out why we were winning one week and losing the next week and so we thought we'd just sort of start on the training track and really change the way we, we, we trained. We lifted our intensity up at training and um, and I thought that was a big 
big reason why we, we finished off the season so well. Thought about Cloak, decides that he can do it on his own. Here's Rocker. That's the start that the Magpie fans are looking for from big Anthony Rocker. The long kick. It's a beauty. Tarrant sets himself. Getting in front, though, with Smith at the crumbs. Opry, their second. Bad mistake by the skipper. Johnson round the corner. Goal square. Terrific mark. Wakeland. Bounce not kind for Bandy. As if Rocker needed any extra help at this stage. He started wonderfully well. Ben Johnson, 55 out. Awkward one. Low Woden to the top of the square. Bulldogs with numbers. Robbins can't mark. Here's a goal coming up. Who will it be but Ferris? Inside 50s. Collingwood 11 to 9. So they've had their chances. And another goal to O'Brien. A little bit closer to the pies. Effective first kick of the night for McMahon. Burns though. How about this for a quick reply? Burns on the run from 50. The jumps high, gets it back. He's got he burns again. Not content with a quick goal. That's good work from Kinnear. He got it quickly from Rocker. Buckley to get two and 30 seconds. And he has done it beautifully. Just in case you're willing to take him on afterwards, Wayne. The left foot kick's not good. Won't be a score. Oh, climbing high. Jared Malloy. Back through the middle. Here comes Buckley. Handball. That was meant to go along the ground. It was clever. Fraser sees the man leading. Didak didn't take it. Play on the call. Ball still alive for Collingwood. Lecuria finds Burns a little bit wider. Oh, Breeze, he's done it this time. He has. His third... Through the centre square. Both teams have had chances for goals in this last quarter. Tarrant! Yes, indeed! Only as far as Loney. Loney, hands off, O'Brien. Here is Tarrant. Oh, he didn't take it. Murphy tackles him. Good enough to get it to Didak. That's not 15, doesn't need to be. O'Brien for another one. Rocker lets it go. For a goal. Four goals to O'Brien. Smart play by Rocker. We've had the evolution theory from Darwin. Now we've got uh, dinosaurs in Jurassic Park. Is this the footy channel or the geographic channel? Buckley. Buckley. Inside 50. Oh, it's lifestyle. It's magnificent from Buckley. Best on ground again. Third disposal. Second goal. Special word for, uh, for Bob. He's uh, Robert's father. Uh, the boy spoke about it during the week, and um, Bob loves his footy, and I'm sure he would have, and he loves Collingwood. I'm sure he would have enjoyed tonight. Thanks for Footscray. Uh, make it. You need two teams to play a game, and it's a contest, and uh, that's what Bob loved about the game. Um, I know he's out in the crowd somewhere, and just like to let him know that we thought him during the week, and um, we'll probably he's a great part of the Collingwood Footy Club, and will remain so um, forever and a day. Thank you. King, very quick hands to make peace. Rocker nearly. Now Johnson up from the back half. Buckley, clear. Rams it. Rams it superbly. But they had the time and space. Now Tarrant, beaten by the bounce. Malloy. That's another big kick. Dangerous for Baird. Oh, this is a dangerous game they're playing. Terrence! Dear, oh dear. Johnson looks for Malloy. Puts his head over the footy. Well done by Malloy to Wawoden. Loney knocked off the ball. Came it again. To Johnson. He might run on a kick a goal here. He loads up from 51. It's another one. From 60 metres out. Burns almost. Tip of the goal square. Brown gets steamrolled. Goal. The amount of time each team's spent in possession. Porter doing okay there. But Cole again with the footy this time. Tarrant. It's gone all the way. This match in some proportion. Clement again. 
just getting his kick in time, and what a kick it was. Two there could receive it. Beautiful hand pass by Lloyd to Loney for another one. Good forward line. Porter rucking. Malloy again doing heavy work. Buckley. He's a bit interested here. And that is an interesting kick. Very interesting. Too far out to score. Oh, it's bad defence by the Roos, but uh, fortunately for them, the Courier couldn't take the mark, but he still kicked the goal anyway. Shannon grabbed the back pocket, kicks towards Morell. Kinnear puts Collingwood back deep into attack to the goal square. Is it still in play? It might be. Didak twisting and turning. the Dockers at least. Collingwood looking to create just that half a chance. Burns was grabbed quickly. Holland, Williams. O'Brien will end up with a shot at goal. He kicked it beautifully and nailed it. Shammer, who's been good, but kicked didn't have enough on it. Shaw around the body. Buckley now playing across half forward. Carr still with him. Hayden Shaw ball handling. But the handle wasn't great. Carr into Buckley who just didn't look but got the kick away well to Cole this has opened up for the Magpies Cole had a bounce and then kick for Terrence didn't make its target O'Brien was too sharp for him Grover committed himself Hayden was mown down from behind forced the turnover Woe Woden threw it under the boot where will it bounce it took a Collingwood bounce set up the night was fit and able. It's strange, isn't it? Johnson. There's an open goal square here. And he sees it. And seizes the moment. Seven to three for inside 50s for the last quarter in favour of Frio. So they've been creating some chances. Parker again harassing Tarrant. At ground level, it's O'Brien. Over the top to Richard Cole. ready to come on. Maybe Jared will go in for one more thrust and parry. Simmons got it to the back to McManus, who was picked off by Buckley, who gives to Burns. You'd give him a chance from here. From 55, he sacked the boot in and kicked the goal. Fantastic afternoon. 22 possessions for Lucuria. Five times inside 50. Meantime, Josh Fraser for his third goal of the afternoon. Celebrations at the MCG. Let's stay and watch this. The number 22, who Bruce Shaw is going to leave them off the ground. Sit back and just enjoy this moment. The tribute to Bob Rose. The famous 22. That awards half forward. Tarrant the target off hands O'Brien runs inside the 50. Nobody back. How will it bounce against the post? 
Well, did it cross the line? Oh, Chef. Oh, clear. What's happened? Go. Cross the line's a goal. I think it's a goal. It came back onto the post, maybe. I agree. Oh, 45 metres controversy to start. Kick the slots. Throw it in. In the pocket then. Rocker under the football. Buckley has the football. Got the arms free. Lecuria brilliantly done. Holland goes off a step and kicks the goal. Classical. Across the ground. Johnson. Favoured by the bounce. Runs onto it. Breaks inside the 50. Lines up Johnson. Works it back left to right. It's got the carry. It's a long bomb goal. Well, the one favoured by the hand pass. Blomfield thinking about buying a lotto ticket. In goes Lecuria. Hand pass is not forward by Malloy. Down towards half forward. Inside Loney. Measures the time of the release. Back it comes to Malloy. He wants to set Loney up. Loney a little skip. He's played it brilliantly. Oh, brilliant. Absolutely. It was a snooker shot. Second touch coming up for Rupert Batheris. The artist at Collingwood in residence. Kicks up towards Malloy, the juggling mark. He did it well. So Burns now from right outside 50. Gives a big sure. drop punt kick. Have a look at that. Right through the middle from Scott Burns, who's in career best form. And ben Johnson takes the mark. He flicks it over the top. And Logan, who loves to run. Have a look at him go. Good takes shot, off. Man. Gets the handball over to Buckley. Buckley now kicks at 50 metres. Right up the wing, up goes Rocker. Got a little bit of a push out. Malloy, Patton Square. Wants goal number three. It's an empty goal square. Will it bend back enough? It does! The Collingwood crowd love it. And Molly's kicked his third. First time he'd been over 30. This is Rogers. Dying seconds of the game then. Buckley! Well, the icing on the cake. Ball goes over line out of bounds. We'll have a throw in. From the throw in, Malloy with intent is kicked. Another free goal! Jerry Malloy's got his fourth! He kicks it wide towards the wing, bounces Collingwood's way. Kellaway knocked it away. The theorist, though, to Cole. Cole chips down towards Ford Buckley. Brilliantly oh, done. Found a path where there wasn't one. Goes long and deservingly gets his first. Rocker. Holland. Transfer of play complete now. Wakeland on the sunny southern stand side here at the G. Driving ball forward, looking for Williams. Won't quite get there. The back though, support. Locum. Lappin there. Williams. Always energetic. Lively. Lines up. Boundary. Goal! That's his seventh game to Favola. Big leap, Wakeland over the top. Nicely judged mark. He has been in good form, and I think St Kilda didn't try it right, they just gave him away. Loney, he is away, through the midfield, chips the pass to half forward, Malloy looks further afield, long kick, Tarrant, goal square, Thornton with him, did he get a knuckle on it? Did he get a knuckle on it? No, it's a goal! Unforgivable, someone in the square too early, chip kick towards half forward, towards Malloy, fly! He's in good touch at the moment, isn't he? Well, that's also he is, Brian, and this tells you how under man they are. McKay is not the ideal matchup. Four goals last week, and he goes with a big, long drop punt to the goal square! It's there! Malloy's got two! Kicks the Blues outside defensive 50, Rocker flies. Can't mark. Kudafidis, what's he doing there? He's gone the wrong way, Kudafidis. That is unbelievable, but it tells the story of the disarray. Inside 50, Malloy, handball over the top, Tarrant will kick the goal. I cannot believe it. And there's the frustration is boiling over here. Players converge on Camparelli. This is going to get ugly. Well, Tom, died at throwing off the ball. Get your checkbook out, boys. If you're going to enter there, go into the checkbook. Right now, that would uh, almost constitute a mellow. Kota Fredy's a strong one there. Now, this is the Collingwood boys get off. They've yeah. got September coming up. They should just head off. Michael Roberts is down there. Rob, I don't know whether you can hear us or not. Yes, I can, Brian. You're metres away. 
Absolutely unbelievable here. The bowler by Woden. A lot of the Collingwood players are trying to get their other teammates oh, out of here. Hume Humus, Humus had a big crack at Lockett. Just leave it there, Michael. We'll just uh, keep an eye on this. We've got Lockett out the back. Mickey Martin's joined in. There are spot fires everywhere at the moment, Gary. There are three separate, four separate altercations going on. And the finger is in no uncertain terms being pointed right at Scott Camparelli. No question about that. Now Martin. Now wait. Wobbly kick. Camparelli gets the boot. Oh. to see, wasn't it? But he did the right thing, Camp Rally. He didn't give the footy up. He took it to ground, didn't turn it over. And Buckley did the right thing as well. Once again on hands and knees, Campbell got it out, but the trouble is Collingwood have too many good players around. Buckley to Woden, spearing ball to Tarrant. Is he within range? The leads come. Shaw over the top, popped in his direction, can run in in beautiful bright sunshine. It's right! row at the moment Collingwood won three in a row at the start of the year haven't been able to put it together since then until now kick forward Didak can kick it a long way oh. is an accomplished finisher gives this off O'Brien snapping goal got his first Collingwood kick forward in the last corner they continue the march yeah. so another three disposals and they're home there Peter Fides. Didak wins the ball through the middle, finds Betheris in and out of the Collingwood side this year. Short ball over the top to the following run of Didak. Now he launches the long ball for home. Alan Didak, great run to kick his second goal. You'd think perhaps he'd leave it to Malloy. Malloy might be uh, involved in it. We'll wait and see. Fraser against Chambers. Taps it down cleverly to Burns. Great goal, Collingwood. Really under control. Johnson to Rocker, and that's a strong grab. That's a mark, Ben. He's playing like a man who means business and wants to inspire Collingwood in this quarter. Again, he's miscued the kick. But at the back, O'Brien will kick a goal. Rocker to Ruck this time. Fraser waits down at the back. Chambers brings it into the corridor. Rocker burns now. Like Here come the pass. Rocker. Body's flying everywhere at the moment. Good kick out of the pack by McGough. It comes to McKee. McKee from 48 metres. Puts Collingwood in front. It's been hard at it. Lucuria hard at it. Buckley's had four disposals in the 12-minute period. McGough in and under again. Got the hard ball to Rocker, who straightens up. Rocker, it's coming. of Tarrant. Rock has got the set! Rocker takes a specky! We get the bounce, it Spriggs against Lockett. Who'll get there first? It's Lockett who breaks the Spriggs tackle. Oh, then he lost it. But Didak's there in support. They have the extra man. O'Brien back to Didak. Squares it up into the corner to Shaw. Shaw's a Loney. Loney from 60. Has a shot at goal. tried to create something and that's what Geelong needed. Tarrant hasn't lost his speed off the bat. And he has a man loose. This is a certain goal. Dynamic. Collingwood by 16. Burns to Lecuria. Driving kick. Looking for Rocker again. Oh, almost. 
almost. He'll come out to Holland. He'll snap it up. I was in the, just in the forward line there, and uh, I would have been made about 30 metres away. And I can remember, I remember him going for a mark, and it was like I was in the stands because I remember cheering for it as a player, and I had to sort of have a look around and think, oh, hang on here, I'm playing. I can't be, I can't be cheering for for this guy's mark. But uh, no, look, it was, it was a fantastic mark, and he just made it look so easy and. You know he's got a he's obviously got a very good leap and but he's very balanced as well and he can land on his feet and it's just just an amazing mark. Here's the tarot mark. It'll go close to it'll go close to the mark of the year. Charman now into the ruck against Rocker and after Keating dominated the early hitouts. Here's Brad Scott. Crowd saw something, yeah, the umpire didn't. Lecuria and Burns combining as they have so often this year. Fraser thrust forward. But as he did in the grand final last year, has an immediate impact. Works to the front, Fraser did very well. Buckley, brilliantly done. Kick to the top of the goal square. Tarrant, chance for Rocket. Can he get through the ball? He can, he'll kick a goal for the Maples. Jarman almost. Inside the 50, now outside. Fraser kicks to the wing and maybe the Lions, maybe the Magpies can get something going. Clote. Done well in the last seven or eight minutes on Brown. Holland. Overlap from Johnson. Here's a chance. Tarrant at the back. Williams. He'll run into an open goal. Andrew Williams with a bounce of it. It was the last goal kicker. Terrence got away and he's got the mark. Yes! And Brown can switch either side. That time, colourblind straight to Cloak. Off halfback, Johnson can loop the handball over the top. And now Holland, oh, he's set up by White and he struck the tackle remarkably well. Holland's got a over the top. I think the free kick may have been paid. Play on the call now, though, as Shaw and Clement collaborate. McKee's away at half forward. Now it's long. Brisbane with the numbers. Rocker almost. Buckley somehow. Oh, handball beautifully done. Lockett squeezes it home. Another one to the Magpies. Well, you've got to give it to them. Uh, yeah, I've caught the, a fair bit of flack during the week because my form's been down a bit. And um, But, uh, you know, we... Again, I thought we played really good team footy. I mean, the guys um, really played well. I think young Richard Cole started to play some good senior footy by this stage. And um, I think it wasn't until the second half when we come out and we might have kicked six or seven goals uh, straight. I think we just come out and played some really good football in the second half and really outran Adelaide. Um, and it was a pretty comfortable win in the end. In goes Holland on his knees to Wakeland. They hold the line. Johnson comes away without a 20 seconds. On the other side, Shaw is away. Any score will lead at the major break. Brock has got it within range. He doesn't know 10 seconds to go. Wheels around. High ball down towards full forward. Cole should mark. Oh. Well, he misjudged it completely. Dive back by the prom. Turns around. Kicks a goal. And triple zero. What timing. Above John Cock, he goes right out to Buckley. Buckley has it on centre wing, looks up, gets the lead from Rocker, decides to go further afield. Up towards Cole, who comes out from full forward. Slipping over was Terence. Smart had to wait for it. Look for the boundary line. It's Bills out the data. Into the open goal. He can give it over to Fraser. He does it to half early. Two goals to the pies. Two minutes of football. This is a really dangerous period for him just to try and physically get it, Collingwood. Plenty of energy with the Magpies and this man, Buckley, almost. Now he's got it, surrounded. Slips it away to Burns. In space, Fraser going at his third. And he's got it. What a start. Last five to the Magpies. 
32 points the difference. The kick comes out. Rocker gets back up. Oh, that is magnificent stuff. Goes short to Burns. And he's in this range. Collingwood would have kicked the last six goals of the game. Brian Loney comes in from right on 50 and make that seven on the top for the make pies. Loney trying Second to get versus fourth. Big thump forward from Walker. Out comes Rocker. Ball spills. Buckley, look at him go. Stuck his head down. Good play. Well done. Lockin got it out to Burns. Burns to Owen over the top to Scotland. Scotland can look inside. We'll go for home. He decides to go for home. He's got one with the left foot kick. Kicks the goal for Collingwood. Decides to kick it long. Miss kicks it. Williams couldn't hold it. It spills out the back to Burns to Aubrey. Another goal to the Magpies. Jason Cloaks had 15 disposals, three marks, and on six occasions rebounded outside of 50. They made a long kick towards the other side. Lockin, Burns, Buckley, and now Scotland from half back. Chips it up towards the wing. Fraser kicks towards Ooh. the 50. Storming up the ground is Rocker. Gathers the bouncing football. Gets a hand pass away to Johnson. Curia. Goes from 60. Well, we'll give him the benefit of the doubt. The Curia to die back. Open goal gets it. If Collingwood are able to get it, then five goals would Ronnie be too Burns much. Free at the boundary throw in. Walker, big run, big fist. O'Bree, on the loose ball, tries to go to Buckley. About 55 metres out, Buckley feeds it back towards the middle of Curia. From 45, lines up, and that does it. His first. Sydney are a side that match up really well against us and uh, they seem to know uh, a lot about the way we play. Um, you know, there's a bit of a connection there with players coming to and from Sydney and Collingwood, but um, it, we always know it's going to be a pretty hard game for Swans. So they, um, they got a lot of run out of their back line um, and, and seem to use the ball really well and uh, in the early game that's what we struggled with. Nothing to go too short. That's not a great placement. Cloak in good position. An attacking spoil away Bree. Good centering ball. Buckley dangerous. Great hand pass. Lucuria kicks the first. Holland to Clement, who drives it long. It's a beautiful kick. Walker attacks it. Good defence by the Swans. That was by Barry. Williams, great pick up, Scotland! Now, they are forced to go wide. Long kick, so they all miss it in the end. Burns off the ground! Another one to Collingwood! Shaw, the clean bow, manages to recover. Well done to Walker, to Dinah, back to Walker. Thumps it back to the 50. Good mark over the top by Fraser. And Collingwood again a chance. A serious chance is tapped. The rocket in from the side. Clean bowls everyone. And in the end, Shawble gave it up to Scotland. Left foot snap is home. Hasn't been dominant, but he's worked hard. Shawble working hard there in his 150th, the former Magpie. Micklejohn, stolen, Dynak might just about do it from there. He might do it from there. He has done it. Nick Davis, great smother. But Collingwood win it away. And Rocker crumbs the pack. The goal is unguarded. In the first 20 minutes, kicking at 54% this year for his 45 goals. And that's a ripping kick from Chris Tarrant. To James. To the wing. No free. And then the career's got it for Collins. Rocker on the end of it, and Wawoden, very dangerous at the fall, calling for it over the top, Williams, Wawoden doesn't worry. 
distance beyond him. It's a good delivery to Rocker, who's still a chance. Oh, he's done it! What a magnificent goal! effort by Anthony Rocker if you don't mind on the boundary line and on the left boot right on the boundary line skids it through well Peter Dacos is in the commentary box next to us and he just smiles because that was vintage Dacos gee hasn't he got some skill for a big man margin 16 points Collingwood's way lovely work Hall Williams couldn't take it with him Johnson to Buckley excellent for the Magpies Good move this by Collingwood. Tarrant to Scotland. Magpies with an open 50. Fraser did it beautifully and kicked the goal. Collingwood leads by two goals. Gee, look at all the space between the contest and the Collingwood goal. They heard you, Rob. Second spot up for grabs. O'Bree, hurry kick. Bolton was desperate. Tarrant did well to Mercuria. Mercuria to Burns, sidesteps, gets the handball. A lot of a lot of the experts tipped Essendon to win, but um, you know I thought we, I thought we played really well that night and we managed to control the last quarter a bit better than what Essendon did, and um, you know it was a really good win to have leading into the finals. Term of the round 22, blockbuster at the MCG. Wo Woden with the right foot kick squeezes it out up towards half foot off the hands of the pack. Beautiful handball from Tarrant out to Buckley has a flying shot at the goal. It could go all the way. And the skipper kicks the first for the Magpies. Lucas out of defence. Drives it towards our broadcast side. This will be interesting. Burns did well across the body. Bounces it inside the 50. McVeigh goes back with it. Trapped it. But to the advantage of Will Woden. He was taken high. He's going to get the free kick. Go, the advantage go. is paid. Tarrant to O'Bree. Open goal. It goes in. And he gets it. Which way this breeze is going? No doubt, I think, uh, Gary. As James Clement kicks it ball. to the centre wing. So the Bomber fans have got something to look forward to in the second quarter. Still plenty of time left in this one for a score, though, as Scotland does well. Roe Woden puts out a mitt. Might be the last chance for the quarter as it comes out to Ben Kinnear. His left foot kick is a beauty to Anthony Rocker. A minute and a half left. Anthony Rocker, the big bomb. Collingwood fans want it from the boundary line. Play on now, says the umpire. From 55, Anthony Rocker sets up. Cole, 55 metres out, a centering kick. Plenty of bombers there. Fletcher reaches over the top and straight to Scotland. A fumble, though, cost him. Rioli hit over the football, claimed by Burns. Burns has got it now. Comes to Loney. Loney snaps him out of nothing. A Collingwood goal. Andre throw in. Walker tries to hook it down behind. Well, Weldon once more with the left boot. Bounces it through. Quickly to Wakeland. Wakeland has Tarrant on. Tarrant waits, has to shield his eyes from the lights. Handball's on straight away to his skipper in Buckley. Has to thread the needle and does head the way Woden. Gets an awkward bounce. It's nice though for O'Bree. O'Bree turning around quickly. Kicks it to the hot spot. Burns has got the sit from behind. He flies and marks. He's a super mark, Scott Burns. Listen to opponents. The defenders had to leave their man and pressure the ball carrier. Oh, the kick didn't come off the boot. Properly for Fletcher, and Woe Woden takes the mark. Shane Woe Woden comes in from right on the 50. It's a beautiful kick, and Collingwood go back in front. His second. 55 metres out, goes long, it's working back. Wonderful goal, his second. Well thought out. Passed in then. In front, Fraser did him again, kicks, and this time makes amends. The gamble has failed for the Bombers. Too far out. I reckon I'll be moving him right now. He's gobbled him up twice now on the... Weighs on now. 
Kicks it well inside the 50. They'll compete about 20 meters out and rock it. Well, he got it. He got it. That's the one, Dermot, that we haven't seen enough of tonight. Body to body, shoulder to shoulder. That's when I reckon Scott Lucas would be most nervous. And he's, he's just got big, clean hands, Anthony Rocker. And I reckon for the rest of this match, just pop him in the square and get it in there long and quick. He'd be tired, Lucas. He's done a power of work. Get some big jumpers in there. Johnson gets it away. Scotland underneath it. Great mark with McPhee bearing down. 70 metres and up by his court play on. So he goes around the body. Tarrant! Will this be 50 or just no. the free kick? Already said no. Uh, I don't think he had the ball before he was cleaned up. So Chris Tarrant. Have a look at this, boys. Gary. 50 metres. Can't jump off the ground like that. It was a 50 metre penalty. He did have it long enough. There was a mark. It was a clear mark. Yeah. Lining up for Collingwood. The margin is 11 points. The shot from behind the goal as Tarrant comes in. It bends back. It bends back. And Chris Tarrant has put Collingwood 17 points in front with four minutes and 36 seconds on the clock. As a team, we knew we can beat Brisbane, you know, we obviously there's such a powerhouse over the last couple of years, but, um, but you know, we, we really did believe that if we play to our game plan and, and play as a team, we can beat these guys. And uh, I remember starting the game, and it was a pretty physical game early, um, but uh, and it was pretty close all night. And it wasn't until really in the last quarter when we started to run a little bit better than Brisbane. And I remember Alan Dyack coming on, kicking two fantastic goals. and and uh, really sealed it for us in the end. That same stare we often see from Nathan Buckley. Total focus, total commitment, and total aggression. September dreams can be built tonight. So uh, nothing uh, too malicious in that. No, he milked it for all it was worth, and why not? And inside 50 go, Connor and Buckley in front. Strong mark overhead, he's got it all. This man is that second kick. Beautiful kick, he's got 19 for the year. Got a loose man of defence at the moment, the Magpies. As we start this second term, Charman. Handball went straight to Loney, who put Collingwood inside 50. Tarrant gets there first. Sweeping handballs, a beauty to Buckley, who loves these from a standing start. That is sensational. Collingwood need this. Tarrant. Delivers and cuts it to 12 points. Happy with the result. <laughs> Here's another chance for the Magpies. Tarrant went out with Bradshaw. And that bounced through. <laughs> Buckley back to Loney. Ever dangerous on that searching left foot. Can wind up from outside 50. Big moment for Collingwood. Can Shaw get it on his boot? The sparingly used Didac. Now to Wowoden. Well done. Yeah, baby. Opportunities missed at either end. Cole a while ago. Burns and McGrath. Now Didac. Ever dangerous with the left. Big wind up. Long ball. Brilliant kick. McPars are in front. Collingwood in front by five points. Go back inside 50. Getting back to the floor of the ball is Rocker. That could all change with this kick from 35 metres out. <laughs> Terribly difficult shot. Contest, he cannot get his right arm up. As I can remember watching the week before that when Port played Essendon and straight after the game, um, Port's coach really started uh, started the, you know, the, the the talk about 
about beating Collingwood and how happy he was to play Collingwood. So, you know, I, I can remember thinking just by just by him talking straight after the game that I knew he might have been a little bit concerned about playing Collingwood. And kick towards Harbot. Oh, great kick. Has had a fantastic second half of the season in particular. From 50 metres, he kicks it. Collingwood had their first. We've got the numbers, Port Adelaide. Buckley, slick handball. Rocker, tear it in front. He's got it. That's the play on. From the pocket. Oh, he's kicked it. Magpies in front. Chance for Johnson. The run provided by Buckley. Good chase from Cochran. Lauren, Tarrant, one out. Oh, he kept his feet. Well played. Now a chance from 55. Open goal square. Fraser running back. Will he get an accommodating bounce? He suckers through. Collingwood have their third. Laid. Into the path of Woe And now Holland over the top. Ben Johnson drifting in. Didn't finish it. Died at thumping kick. Wobbled off the boot. It's got the carry. Go to Collingwood. Clark's body work was supreme on that occasion. Dynak involved. Johnson. Pies going forward again. They're surging forward. Laid. Lucky he's got the long arms. Good collision football over by the Magpies. Ben Kinnear joins the queue and kicks a goal. Just chips it up, Burns is in space, Scott Burns runs to 50, now he's at 40, steadies and kicks a goal for the Magpies, and that'll hurt the power. Number one from the MCG, Brogan beaten by Fraser, Burns to Buckley, good start for the Magpies, flying pass, Dynak, goes for the pass this time, desperate stuff from Hardwick, ready to clean up Leon Davis, gets help from Holland, and rams it through. They can run forward. Leon Davis, though, his first touch of the day. What a touch it is! It's a goal! Well inspired selection! Michael Christian's pointing directions from the commentary box. Rock has gone for a booming kick to the square. Another goal! The curious turn! Jason Clark, the heartbreak from last year in the preliminary final. Here's Leon Last year's loss was was more of a an emotional thing because we, because we we just lost, you know. And this year is, is more of an anger because we as a group feel like we've we've wasted an opportunity that uh, that we worked really hard for to get another chance at it. And um, you know, it's taking nothing away from Brisbane because they were they were just amazing on the day. But but I thought that we really let ourselves down, and, and obviously we we did because you know just we've probably it's probably it's probably been the worst we've played all year. From 45 metres out, it's coming back. Is it enough? Better build up, Ben Johnson. Start a little, keep on going. Lucuria found a way. Well, it was a kick, and that's a start. Over the top, Brady Holland. He was accosted, but he got the way to Buckley. In the direction of Ashcroft. Here's a chance for the Magpies. Leon Davis looks for Burns. Well played, Lappin. Burns will get there first. Oh, won it beautifully. Has a ping at the goals. Scott Burns. That is magnificent. Assistant to Lee. He knows what it's all about. Paul LeCuria from 52 metres has a pot shot. And it's another one for Collingwood. So a couple of consolation goals for the Magpies here. Adelaide, M. Rusciuto, one vote. N. Buckley, one vote. Sydney, A. Good, two votes. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a three-way tie.
long way from uh, born in Adelaide and I've had a fair journey uh, around Australia, but um, I've always had the support of my family and extended family. I'd like to, uh, to thank them and I don't know if I've forgotten anyone, Ed. Thank you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, he, um, Ed actually told me he was going to, uh, if I happened to get up tonight, that he was going to pash me like um, and McDonald and Britney Spears. So. I'm just thankful he hasn't planted one on me yet. But, uh, thanks very much. It's still early, Dutch, don't worry. <laughs>